Raymond O'Keefe joined a group of professionals at ABS Radio shortly after leaving the Antigua Grammar School. In a corner of the newsroom at ABS Radio, he started his career as a journalist, eventually becoming a well-known and respected personality, bringing major sporting developments both on radio and television. He was driven and highly motivated. He belonged to a cadre of professionals that, at the time, were among some of the very best to have come out of Antigua. No moment was ever too gloomy or depressing for Raymond to infiltrate with an exuberant smile or positive outlook. He loved Antigua and every bit of its life and its people. He introduced me to the Calypso tent and literally pulled anyone within earshot at ABS Radio along for a night of Kaiso in its purest form. Many will remember him winning the Pekong competition as part of the carnival celebrations. He carried the title proudly, and it earned him a hall name when he attended the University of the West Indies, where I joined him as a proud member of Chancellor Hall. Not many knew that he penned a few calypsos, but humility suppressed any urging to seek praise or limelight for literary skill. He embraced the opportunity to work at the OECS Secretariat in St. Lucia. For several years, Raymond produced OECS News Link, a crucial undertaking to connect these islands and its people with information about important decisions and developments. While at the OECS Secretariat, his creativity went to work in creating the official OECS song. Raymond called a few weeks ago and said he was taking a vacation. That farewell turned out to be our last. While alive, he impacted many. By the way he led his life, an indelible mark has been left that will touch so many more. To you, my friend and fraternal brother, well done and farewell. <laughs>